flush that one. Sit. Lovely. Best drive of the day. Turn. G'day guys, and welcome back to the channel. I'm going back to back for round two. I've got to get these rounds in this week. It's going to be tough for me to get them in. So I am playing the Tips Tour round two. Uh, it's the CJ Cup at Dallas National Golf Club. So let's jump in for round two. We're off the black tees again. Sunday pins, stimp 13, putting is hard. Gimme is set to four feet. Fairways are soft, green firmness normal, and wind is breezy. So this is going to play tough. Let's jump in and play round two. Hopefully you saw round one. If you didn't, I will link it in the description. With game is trending. The game is trending. It's starting to feel a lot better. The speed's coming back, which is really good to see, and I'm starting to strike it a lot better. So hopefully today we can go low. We can start making some of these, um, these long range parts. First hole is a 377 yard par four. So let's just open up with a nice drive down the middle. And that one will play just nicely. Lovely drive. Okay, so that's left us 87 yards in. We are into the wind. So if we play the wind at 7%, that's 93 to the pin. I don't want to be short or right. So I'm gonna aim left. Not bail out, but I'm just gonna add just a little bit of fat onto it. So that looks good. Um, we'll take a sand wedge and we'll just try and hit a 95 yard shot. Sit, just hit it too hard. Spin like crazy. Ah, oh, it didn't rip back. Okay, hopefully that feeds back a bit. It's left us with a uh, 20 foot putt. Now I'm not gonna lie, that had 10,000 RPM. I expected that to rip back. Okay, 20 feet downhill, two inches. Oh, you're kidding. You are kidding. All right, those are the putts that they're just not going in at the moment. When they start dropping, look out. Second hole is a par five, 550. I'm just gonna aim at those bunkers again on the left-hand side. Just let the wind bring it back. Play a tiny bit of a fade. Oh, I towed it, that's gonna hook. Sit. It's gonna be safe, but I've just made it an extremely long hole. This is a reachable hole, and now I don't think there's any way I'm gonna be able to reach this with a five wood, unfortunately. If I had three wood in the bag, I might be able to get it up there, but I'm being honest and I'm not using uh, 15 clubs. I'm only allowed 14 clubs, and at the moment I've got a five wood in the bag, so I can't use my three wood as much as I want to. So I'm just gonna try and hammer a five wood and get it as close as I can to the green. Go, wasn't a good strike. Not horrendous. It's left us with a 26 yard shot. It's gonna come out right. So got 13 stimp. It's, it's a tough shot. It's, it's more of like a semi-flop pitch style shot. I'm in the rough, so it's gonna take the spin off as well. So ideally, if we land this just on the front edge, what's that, about 17, 16 yards? So if we land this about 17 yards, that should be good. Oh, sit down. Didn't hit it good. Oh, that was a waste. That was not a good shot. Hit it, Joe. Hit it. Oh, that's so silly. Okay, well, that was a complete waste, that hole. Oh, that's so frustrating. Okay, 183. So we want to land at 173. But we're downwind. So if we play the wind as 6%, that's 162, which is an 8 iron. Perfect 8 iron distance. I just need the wind to cooperate. Draw. Oh, I've hit it too well. 
No, that is absolutely perfect. Great shot. Lovely putt. Okay, one under par. We're, we're getting there. I feel like I should be more, but we're under par. Let's uh, get this birdie train going now. Um, I did aim at these bunkers on the left, I think, and play a little cut. So let's do that. We're into the wind. Cut. Yeah, that's gonna be fine. Not the best swing, but it's gonna be fine. Hopefully, I've hit it far enough to, ah, see, I should have swung harder at that drive. I didn't really think. I don't know, especially with this wind. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get five wood there. I'm just gonna try and hit a real low draw with a five wood. Try and really sque squeeze out the distance. It's gonna come out right. Get right. Ah. Ah, well. It's gonna be a tough shot. I've got 33 yards, but the whole green slopes away. It's gonna come out slightly right. So, I just kinda of wanna flop this onto the front edge of the green. Oh, it's a, a yard short. Ah, oh, that was so silly. I shouldn't have tried to get that cute with it. I should have erred on going 24 yards as opposed to going 21. That's so silly. Course management. That's just simple course management. That's so silly. Both the par fives there. I've parred. I mean, that is just giving shots away. Just giving shots away. 224, the pin's tucked. Wind is hard off the left. I mean, let's just hit a four iron. Hit it solid. The wind should bring it back. Flush that one. Sit. Hit it. That's in the hole. That's a slam dunk hole in one. That is a slam dunk hole in one. That is awesome. Four iron, there you go. Okay, on to the sixth hole. That is that helps the scorecard out. Look at that. And the best thing about that is I have that on recording and it is in the tips tour, which means I should get a mug for that. So Cookie, I'm gonna get in contact with you because I should get a hole in one mug. All right, sixth hole. <laughs> that was awesome. If that didn't go in, that would have been quite a little bit past the hole. All right, sixth hole, par four. Let's, um, let's hit a good drive. Lovely. Best drive of the day. Go on, get down there. That should leave about a gap wedge in. Yep, 120, slightly down breeze. So it's gonna be not a full gap wedge. Nice, smooth gap wedge. Come on, be good. Sit. I'll take it. Okay, 19 feet now. Oh, you're kidding. That's frustrating. That is just, that's killing me. I need some of those to start dropping. Come on. Seventh hole, short par four, dead down wind. So I should be able to, if I hit this good, I should be able to get it somewhere up there by the green. The pin is back as well, back left. So anywhere down there realistically is good. If anything, miss a little right. Swing speed was up. Go. Yep, I'll take it. 38 yards now, it's gonna come out slightly left. If you go long, 
it all feeds off. So I've got to be really careful. So if anything, come up short. So if I try and land this 30 yards as a feel, that's probably the safest, safest option. Sit, sit. See, even that, even that's gone. I mean, I execute, I did exactly what I wanted to do, but look at that, it all feeds away. I should have, I should have planned that. I should have thought about that a bit more. Go in, ah, nine, that's gone long. How has that gone long? Lovely putt. Okay, we need birdies. That will play. Go on. So even a pump drive still left me 181 in. And look at this pin, it's tucked. Play at 6%, 190, so it should just be a six iron. Nice smooth six, not hard. Oh, it's cutting. Okay, dead down the hill now. Go. I don't think I hit that. Speed, speed controls off. Just not, not hitting it hard enough. Okay, let's aim right side of the fairway. Rip a drive down there. We've got a 437 yard par four. Nice drive. Go on, Chase. 107 left, 108, slightly downwind. It's gonna come out left. So it's gonna be about 101. I am gonna hit a sand wedge and I'm just gonna try and rip it back. Land at about 105 to 108 and then just suck it back to the hole. Don't hook. Spin. Ah. Oh. Come on, probably not the play, probably not the play. I should have done a 52, just not making the birdies. 35, up seven now. Hit it. Oh no. I need to go low, this nine, and it's gonna start right here. Little fade off that bunker, middle of the fairway. Oh, Joe. Worst swing of the day. Tried to kill it. Worst swing of the day. Gonna have to lay up, leave myself a, a wedge in. So if I can get it up there, leave me a little 70 yard shot. So I'm gonna aim at that bunker down there, which is 214. And hopefully it should kick right. So 214, I'm gonna hit a four iron. Is it gonna clear this lip though? Let's hit a five. I'll hit five and I'll try and hit it high. And hopefully it clears that lip. Cause if it doesn't, this could, um, could all come crashing down. Get left. Yeah, that's fine. Really good shot. And that's left 77. Okay, this is gettable, come on. We need a birdie. We need lots of birdies. Um, let's play a 56 and I'm gonna hit a 72 yard shot feel, 73 yards. Go, just didn't hit it good, go. Just did not catch that correctly. Okay, 17 feet. Oh, 
Oh, this is killing me. It's just killing me. They're just not going in. <laughs> just not going in. Okay, 11th hole. We've got to start making some putts. Oh, Joe. Just not swinging it good now. Don't go behind that tree. Oh, of course. The worst possible kick. Deep rough behind the trees. It's going to come out dead right. I just don't know how this is going to come out, to be honest. I've got no idea. I'm just going to aim there. I'm just going to hit a punch. Um, 123. It's hit like a six iron, maybe. Oh, you're kidding. 41 yards. So 47, no green to work with. Nineteen now. Same shot. Now you hit it twenty eight. Okay, just like that, double bogey. Back to one under. That is so frustrating. Because I feel like my game's been a lot better than that today. But unfortunately, that's golf. All right, a little cut off those bunkers, come on. Let's finish with, uh, what, seven straight birdies. It will play. One fifty-two. It's going to come out right. You don't want to miss right. We're dead down wind. Let's hit a nine-iron. Oh, the wind just changed on us. Look at that. Lucky I had another quick look. Let's see if it changes again. Okay, now it's into us. Let's do some recalculation. Let's go plus six percent then, which is one six one. Okay, let's hit. More of a punch eight iron. It's got to go. I just duffed it slightly. Okay, 20 feet. Let's see if we can roll in a putt. We are long overdue. These greens do have a lot of break to them, though, a lot of undulation. Get in. All right, back to two under. 13th hole, par three, 135 uphill. So it's 140 to the pin, plus 6%, which is gonna be 148. Again, we can't miss right. So it's just gonna to have to be a smooth nine iron. Don't wanna make the same mistake on this hole and go way long. Let's go punch nine iron. Should carry 145. Oh, I duffed it. Oh, it's worked out perfect though. Nice little duff there. Take off five yards, hit it a little heavy. Lovely putt. Okay, back to three under. And unfortunately, it's not going to be the best rounds I could have played this week, but the game is trending, which is good. Hold your head. Oh, just cut it. Don't hit cart path. You're kidding. Okay. Um, we're in the deep rough, which is not ideal. It's going to come out slightly left. 83. It's going to play more like 103. So if you try and land at about 95, it should hopefully roll up. It's a tough shot. It's going to be a really hard shot to get close. Sit. I'll take that. Really good shot. Okay, left to right slider, nine feet. Channel my inner John Rahm and make this. Turn.
that'll apply. Soft fairways, lovely. Okay, 119, wind off the left. It's on a left slope. So, I mean, this should just be a perfect 52 yardage. Be good. Spin. Okay, good shot. How did that not turn? It's downhill. Oh, that's so frustrating. Just so frustrating because I could have had quite a good round today. Oh no. Worst drive of the day. Absolutely dead. Oh, that's so disheartening. It could have been such a good round. 180 out of the deep rough. I'm just going to hook a five iron. Let's hook a six iron. And... No, we're in the deep rough. Let's hook a five. Got no idea how this is going to go. Of course, it hit trees, and that's even more dead. Nice. And this is just such a, a shame. It could have been, could have been a nice round. Um, where's my ball? I've got no idea if it's going to hit this tree. 76 out of deep rough. No idea. Let's just hit a lob wedge. Ha. Huh. Nice. Okay. Kind of killed the round now. Let's just aim out there, I guess. 60 yards. Off the tree. All right, 26. Oh, uh, what a shame. What a shame. 26 yards. Gonna come out left. Such a frustrating round of golf. I mean, we had the hole in one, but. Another double. All right, 17th, par three, four, uh, 243. Let's just um, get another hole in one, shall we? Not with that swing, Joe. Go. Big kick. Just. Okay, 18th hole. Let's get an eagle to finish. And if I get an eagle here, it'd be a, a round of very many highs and very many lows. Cut. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to get home from there. Not the best swing. 288. I've only got a five wood and it's into the wind. So, I mean, there's pretty much no chance of me getting there. With a three wood, I mean, it would not, I wouldn't be able to get there either, I don't think. Try and uh, hook a five wood, really get a bit of distance out of it. Flushed it. Oh, I thought that was going to hook. Just stayed right. Stayed right on me, and that's deep rough now. That's going to be a tough shot. It's going to come out right. 47 yards in the deep rough, which is going to make it, what, like 50, 58 or something? 56 into wind on a massive uphill lie. I guess I'll just play it about 73. I don't know. Sixty-three. Worked out. Don't go off the green. It's going to go off the green. It's a tough course. 
It is a tough course. All right, I'll try and chip this one in for a birdie. Hit it. Ha! Oh. It hit it. Just. All right, guys, that is round two of the tips tour. Lots of highs, lots of lows. Not the best golf. I could have played two double bogeys in there that just killed me. Missed a lot of putts, but the game is trending. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, let me know. Any comments or questions, let me know down below and I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.